Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to attempt to make my own vintage addressed envelopes. This lot I found in an antiques uh, market a little while back. Um, they're all addressed to the same person, but they're all different sizes and it's got different stamps. Some are to Australia, some are to the UK. And I absolutely love them, but I'm a bit weary to use them because I only have one of each um, and they're quite a nice little treasure. So I thought to be able to use them in my journals, I might attempt to make some of my own. Um, I started off with some just plain white envelopes that I've coffee stained just to give them that aged look. They're just plain white ones um, that I did. And then for the address in the front so that I don't use anybody's real address, I have gone on to Google and gone to fake name generator and on there you can press a button and it generates a name and address and you can choose from which country you want the name to be and also which country you want the address to be. So I've done some from the UK, some from America, some from Australia and then some from France. So we're just going to use these because they're not anybody specific, they're just fake names. Um, and then I'm just going to write it, um, the name on the front. Now, it doesn't matter what handwriting you have. You can use cursive. You can use print. I don't really think it matters because they were dressed in all different ways. I'm just using an art line fine liner. You can use a fountain pen if you have. I don't have one. I'm hoping to get one soon. But we will just use this for now. So let's choose one that we like. I might just go with this one. And we're just going to write the address. Right, so we've got the address written on there. Now we're going to put some stamps. Now, I don't have stamps all from the same country. So I'm just going to put ones that I think look nice. We'll put two or three. You can um, do a color scheme if you wanted to match your journal. Or you can just put whichever ones you like. So we might just go for those three. I'm just going to stick them down with just some glue. If you have ones that are specifically for a country, you can use all the same. But these are just for decoration. And then I want to put an airmail sticker on. But I want it to look a little bit worn because this looks um, quite new. So what I normally do is, this is a, a sticker that I'm just going to crumple a little bit to give it a bit of a used look. And then I take a nail file and I just file it here and then it actually removes some of the color so it looks a little bit worn you can do it just around the edges or on top and then we're going to stick that on the top it doesn't have to be straight because they never weren't always straight when they put them on and then we can put our postmark stamp I have these little rubber stamps. If you don't have these, you don't have to use them. You can just leave it without. But I'm just going to put this on top. And there is our four vintage addressed envelope. Here I've made three. I've also made a little one and this one I've also used um, some distress ink just around the edges just to give it more of a vintage feel um, you don't have to do that that's up to you and there you go i hope you enjoy making this project um, i'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again soon bye